Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. In the Vietnamese capital of Hanoi, talks between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un came to an abrupt end Thursday, after Trump walked out of the talks aimed at reaching a denuclearization agreement. Their second summit fell apart over Kim Jong-un's demand the U.S. lift all sanctions on North Korea in exchange for the closure of one nuclear facility. This is President Trump speaking at a news conference before he left. Basically, uh, they wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. They were willing to denuke a large portion of the areas that we wanted, but we couldn't give up all of the sanctions for that. So we continue to work, and we'll see, but we had to uh, walk away from that particular suggestion. We had to walk away from that. The summit's collapse comes just days after House Democrats introduced a resolution to formally end the Korean War after nearly 70 years of conflict. After headlines, we'll go to Hanoi to speak with Christine Ahn, founder and executive director of Women Cross DMZ, a global movement of women mobilizing to end the Korean War.